All right, so we're gonna be going on vacation here soon and we have a tomato plant that we need to keep watered. Yeah, we just bought a plant from Home Depot yesterday. So, and it, it it's a cherry tomatoes, right? Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a drip irrigation and I'm gonna kind of walk you through the process. You need a bottle, you need some string, maybe depending on how you wanna plant it, and then um, a tack. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start with uh, cutting around the edge with uh, uh, my razor blade here. Just be careful and don't cut your fingers. So I want it just enough where I can kind of open that top here. Um, what I'm going to do with the string is my idea is I'm going to secure it to our balcony uh, with a string. So I'm going to run the string through so then it'll just hang and it'll be able to drip um, down into the plant. And I think that will work just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two little holes on the back side. Okay. And we'll see if I can uh, oops. See if I can stick my string in here. your finger. I'm just making a little X so I can push my string back out. Basically, I'm going to be able to tie my string and it's going to sit like this. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take my tack and I'm going to try to push it in sideways into this as much as I can. Like that, you're going to bring it back out. And actually, that actually was, it kind of closed up on its own. You can't see it with the camera, but we're going to just see if it's going to work real quick. So if you can see, this is going to be a really slow drip. Can you, can you see that, babe? Yeah. Real slow. I'm not squeezing it or anything, okay? Now, the point of the slow drip is to last, you know, I'm going to be gone for a week. So I'm hoping I can fill this all the way up. We're gonna test it for a few days mm -hmm. and we're gonna see how long this will drip. This is just a drip irrigation uh, made on the fly for our upcoming vacation. So <laughs> we're gonna test and see how it goes. Okay, let's go. So this is our cute little plant. As you can see guys, there's already some flowers in it. Look. All right, you can start then. Um, Are you gonna put water in? So I was going to. Why it's empty? Well, because I gotta secure it first. Uh, we might have to put it on the ground while we're gone, so I can attach it to a post. Oh yeah, right. So let's let's just go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm gonna just. Because we put table here. We're planning to to plant more seeds soon yeah. after our vacation. 
We will have a vacation again in Michigan for a few weeks. Oh, perfect. Can so, you adjust the the yeah. bucket? I will. Let me get this secured real quick. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. So I'm going to secure it to this post here. Um, I'm gonna put something right here that just kind of keeps it mm -hmm. away um, real quick so just one second so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just situate this right here and then it's gonna drip directly into the bucket and what we'll do is we'll be able to position that where we need it it should be pretty simple If I could get the tape I needed correct. Just like that. This is just a test guys, just to see if it's going to work. Let me go grab some water. There is a... Oh. Oh, the cap. Is that a cap? You put no. too much water. Yeah, there's too much water in there. Yeah. Hang on. That's okay. It'll stop. Just a yeah, second. it will stop. Because remember, he it, put a hole at the yeah, back. It, it, I filled it up a little too tight, a little too long. That's perfect. Look. Directly to the soil. Well, hang on. It needs to stop. <laughs> it needs to stop. Once it gets past my hole here, it should stop. I think it stopped. That's it. Let's see. So, you oh, see that? You see little that? Drip? Yeah. So, the drips on the side, guys, sorry about that. I, I, I put it up too high. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I filled it too much. Don't worry about these drips. It's this one right here that you want. The one right here in the middle. Yep. That'll stop dripping. So, looks like my fill line is gonna be, mm -hmm. have to be a little lower than I'd like, but because I made the cuts a little too, too oh, low. Cool. So, let's see how it goes. We're going to let it drip. If you look at the camera, we've got it right here. 
Um, next time we'll fill it a little lower just so you don't get this residual drip on the side here. Mm -hmm. And then you should just have this one water drip. Now this is a slow drip. I can slow the drip down even further. And let's see how long it lasts. Thank you guys for watching and uh, like and subscribe and we'll be back for a follow up to tell you exactly how long this lasts. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to start my watch right now and we started it. Let's see how long this water lasts so we know how long the centrifugal drip will actually look for.